Well, I've been running most of my life, um, you know, off and on throughout, you know, school and everything. And then I really started running consistently uh, a couple years ago. Uh, right now I'm running six days a week. Uh, when I first started running consistently, it was just three, then four days, then five and worked my way up. Yeah, I really don't have a trainer, but you know, just with the internet and YouTube videos that they're kind of my trainer. Yeah, so my training regimen, uh, you have to run a lot. I mean, there's no other way around it. You got to put in the miles before you do any larger race. So uh, right now, I'm averaging about 50 miles per week. And uh, I had a 65 mile week last week. Next week, I hope to get about 75 miles in. I did do a uh, 38 and a 39 mile race. I had two eight hour races where I ran those distances uh, down here in Southwest Florida where basically it was around a, uh, a two and a half or three mile loop and you just go as far as you can. My, my upcoming race is uh, March 31st. It's uh, aptly named the Georgia Death Race and it's in uh, you know, the northern mountains of Georgia and uh, you go from State, Vogel State Park to um, Amicola, Amicola Falls State Park and you, know, uh, you have 24 hours to finish it. So there's about 20,000 feet of elevation gain and descent uh, throughout and uh, there's various aid stations where you can stop, rest, take a quick breather, change your shoes if you need to. You can have drop bags that help you out. And uh, there's always a bunch of uh, volunteers there to help motivate you. And my family will be with me as well at different points throughout the race. You know, there for just emotional support, mental support. And then, yeah, my wife uh, is kind of my crew chief, so she'll make sure I have water, water make sure I have my liquid nutrition, uh, any food if I'm hungry, uh, you know, again, uh, help change my socks or my shoes if they're getting wet, uh, but yeah, just uh, helpful all around. Well, my wife's very understanding and she's a big uh, support to me and likes, you know, that I have a goal and, and everything. And then uh, there are some nights where she just tells me to go for a run. <laughs> uh, why 75 miles? Basically just to see if I can. You know, just to see if I can, try to push myself, uh, you know, and, and running's my quiet time, so. So this race starts at five in the morning, and again, you have 24 hours to finish it, but my goal is to finish it in 18 hours. So I'm hoping to finish right around 11 o'clock at night, but you know, I'm prepared to go the full 24 hours if needed, just so I finish it. Well, when I'm all done with the race, I think the feeling is gonna be utter exhaustion. Uh, you know, I'm hoping that I can walk the next day and uh, you know, just trying to recover and, and not do any running for, for a long time. <laughs> So my training regimen uh, to work up to something uh, like this is, is a long process. You know, it's been over a few years working up through the different distances and just kind of slowly increasing. You know, I fought through different injuries from shin splints to uh, tendonitis to, you know, uh, you know, hurt knees and everything else. But again, I increased slowly or at least try to and uh, work my way up each and every week. So my running kind of ties in the shell point just to kind of keep me in shape because I have a lot of areas to cover, you know, where I can, uh, you know, walk around, check apartments, check on different um, areas around shell point. Well, my role here at Shell Point, I'm the property manager, and my main responsibilities are uh, housekeeping and trash and recycle collection for the south end of the property. So everything from uh, the Woodlands, Eagles Preserve, Estuary, and the club, and the soon-to-be expansions. I have not figured out how many miles I walk a year at Shell Point. You know, it's not 75 miles, but again, you know, I cover a few miles each day just uh, on my feet here at Shell Point doing my day-to-day -day activities. But when I'm running, it is my quiet time, so uh, it's time for me to pray, time for me to just think about nothing, time for me to think about issues uh, you know, at work or in life in general, but just helps clear my mind. Uh, you get into that zone and I just go.